Okay, I'm about to list most of these online, but before I did, I wanted to share how I keep my chalk and thigh. Um, and there's different opinions uh, and ideas on how to preserve it. And I am not really sure which one is best. I am going by what the miner that I get mine from in Peru has recommended. Uh, and basically he said that the most important thing is um, UV protection and a stable humid environment. Uh, or stable humidity in the environment. Um, and that a mistake that a lot of people make is to use desiccant, um, which actually is not good. They don't like it too dry. Um, so uh, he recommended, and this is a way that they keep it there as well um, before they sell it, um, to uh, put a, it in a, 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 some kind of case or stable uh, covered, kind of controlled, um, contained, display, make sure that it's UV protected, and to put some kind of cup or something with a wet rag in it um, that you check and replenish as needed depending on how dry your environment is. Um, and I've had my chalk and thigh for a while and this seems to work really, really well. Um, so hopefully it will keep it this beautiful for years. Um, but that is how we have been doing it. This huge piece here is not for sale, but it's pretty amazing. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to be getting all of these listed. Um, so watch out for them. But I just want to make sure everybody knows that you do have it. It's kind of uh, high maintenance um, crystal. So kind of be prepared if you're going to purchase it and want to keep it beautiful for a long time to do a little extra work as far as setup and maintenance.